Hello, how's it going everybody? This will just be a quick video today and it's how to annotate on OBS videos. So we can say hello and I'm just using a Wacom for this but you could also use a mouse. So I could go, there we go, I just used the mouse. Now this is a cross-platform solution so it'll work on Windows, Mac and Linux. This might be something useful you want to use for live streams, or maybe if you're explaining something technical and you're better at explaining things, if you write them down to write down diagrams and such, then you are at using a slideshow. And this can be more a, f a more fun way to do your videos as well. Okay, so first you'll need a painting program. Ideally, you'll want something that has layers. So you create your background layer and you make the background layer one color. Now, traditionally, Chroma Key uses green. So unless you want to write on your screen in green, green might be the best solution. Then you create a separate layer and this is the layer you will draw on. Make sure you have your paintbrush tool selected and choose a color to draw on. I like blue and the good thing about GIMP is if I hit delete that layer selected everything on that layer is gone so it's good for clearing your screen and if I hit tab in GIMP it goes to full screen mode just like this and that will come into play later okay so by now you've probably figured out that I'm just using chroma key obviously so we want to add a new source that captures a window. I've already created one. And then we'll want to select our painting program. I'm using GIMP. And then we'll want to use Crop. So I use OBS in full screen mode. I hit Tab to hide the menus. That way there's less things to crop and I get to use more of my tablet area. So if I change this to zero, you'll see the top menu appears. Obviously, we don't want that to be shown, so we crop it. So now, if I do that, we'll see we've got that cropped. So we want to add a new filter, which adds our chroma key. So you select the color and just draw something over here and tinker with the settings here in your chroma key. And that will, until you get something that you're satisfied with. And the good thing about GIMP is I just hit delete and that layer is gone. The layer is still there, but it deleted everything from it. So it's an easy way to clear the screen. Now, if you've got a laptop like mine, which is a ThinkPad, which folds over and has a Wacom built into it. It's an actual Wacom brand built into this. So it's pretty good as pressure sensitivity and all that and you'd prefer to use this but still capture on your desktop in theory there's no reason you couldn't use a remote desktop client and in your obs for your window capture instead of capturing a paint program you capture your remote desktop client and then you just draw on it and it should work the same way so that was how to annotate using obs Thanks for watching. See you later, everyone.